about to have you sweat on your. You got a radio voice? I got a radio voice. Me too. Put it on, baby. Oh, yeah. So that's what I got. All right. Hold on for a minute. I've got to go over here for a second. <laughs> we got Prince. We got, we got Miss Joyce. We got your, 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 your boy Prince. Hanging out with us. Mm -hmm. 105.9. Kiss FM. Hey. Some Marvin Gaye going the back right. I truly enjoyed that uh, interview with the uh, American International Academy. And I shout out again to my future podcast star, Camille, with her co-host, uh, William, that's just some positive stuff for the young folks. And again, uh, if you guys want to learn more about American International Academy, all you got to do is just visit their website. Um, you know, tell them, Angie, Angie Starr told me about this school. They're going to give you extra special treatment. Go to American I N T L Academy.com. In studio, what we call them? What we call them, Tony? Hey. Uh. The crack. the crack jokers. That's what we call them. Yeah. We call you what? The black uh, Tony the, Stark. Yes, yes. That's <laughs> what y'all call me. And um, I'll take it. I'll take that. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, Tony Roney, he's in studio hey, with me right now. What's up, Detroit? And you go ahead and say hi to everybody and introduce the crew. All right. Uh, I just want to say that um, we're glad to be back. Don't forget, every Friday and Saturday, start laughing at starters, 8 and 10 o'clock show. I brought the crack jokers with me. I brought, um, we got a new crack joker, um, Durante. I brought him here, Durante Jenkins. Give it up. What up, what up, what up? Yeah, and we have Prince Askew. Um, so we brought the crew. Everybody knows Prince Askew. All right, so before I get to know them a little bit better, but we, how we doing on YouTube? Oh, man, we doing good. We, uh, <laughs> you, you know what? I got my motivation back. So it's all about getting the algorithm. So I will be dropping from today on, I will be dropping videos every day, period, point blank. Okay. I will be seeing my public. I will be, I will not let you down. So. Yes, I'm still at a 1,144 subscribers. He's, he's kind of sticking at that 44? Yeah, I don't know. Do they just want me to stay at this 144? I'm like, <laughs> what's going on with the algorithm? So, yeah. so look, um, you guys go ahead and tell them how to subscribe. So so if you go to Tony Roney's Comic Vibe on YouTube and just put, push the red button, the subscriber button, and... Um, so I won't be stuck at one at one thousand one hundred and forty four subscribers. Now, can we track all your subscribers and know who they are and get in contact with them after the fact? I don't think you can. Oh, no, okay. that's the crazy part. But you you can, you do like when somebody subscribes, you can say, okay, let me write this person down and. You and you see it, and you let me know. Yeah. You want to shout them out. Yeah. Oh, I like I that. Give them something special. So. I think that's what I'll do yeah. when I get to two thousand. Uh -huh. um, the first two thousand, the the, the two thousand subscriber. I want to do something special for him. Lay it out for him. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm gonna Let's give him like I'm gonna give him enough tickets for a, a whole year. Yeah, we're gonna, they're gonna laugh for a, a whole year. What's that like? Fifty two tickets. Yeah. Okay, that's yeah, good. Something like and I'm, that. I'm gonna add a little bit to that too. Oh, I like that. So we're gonna we gonna make it. Maybe give him a free membership. That's what we do. Maybe start some membership. That's a good idea. Yeah. I yeah. like that. Or yeah, so keep working on that. We're gonna get that number up to what is it? Um, we're gonna get it up to two thousand. Okay. Yeah, you know I'm an underachiever, so I don't want much. All right, let's, <laughs> let's start. Introduce uh, your comedian right here. All right, yeah. So this guy, man, I got a, a a new up and coming comedian, and he's gonna be there this weekend. I'm looking forward to him. Uh, Durante Jenkins, y'all. You said up and coming, so did yes. you just get started? We've been uh, doing it two years. Two, two years. years. Two years as of uh, April fourteenth. Okay, so what? How did it happen? What happened? It happened. I um, I've always been told this is everybody's story. I've always been told I was funny or whatever. I'm a comedian, whatever, whatever. But this guy that was cutting my hair a couple of years ago, he asked me to to come. Well, he invited me to come watch him do comedy at uh, Mike Larry's spot. He was doing a spot on a uh, six on uh, what is that on Living Noise or whatever. I went to watch him, and I'm like, you know what? I've been doing this for a long time, and Mike Larry ended up having a class, so I ended up taking a class. In the past, now it took me a minute to get to this point to get comfortable because I'm not used to standing in front of people and talking. I'm a introvert, like big time. So 
all this is new, man. You know, I started getting a lot of good feedback from people. Then met Tony and Martini Harris, too. Martini Harris, he told me I was going to be great. Me and him met in the, um, uh, in the basement. That's funny, in the basement. It's not bad. In the basement, a family function or whatever, man, him chopped it up. And he ended up seeing me do a Simply Chanel spot for a patio. And I did my thing, and it's been on since then. So tell me about the first show. Were you a success? Did you buy her? My first, my actual <laughs> first show, my actual first show was uh, Simply Chanel's. Okay. But before then, I was doing horrible because I had to, you know what I'm saying? I had to figure stuff out. You know what I'm saying? What was Not that you, like? What was that journey like when you when they booed and was no, like, I, I didn't get booed didn't get booed yet. Okay. It was just it's just when you're naturally funny and you're used to making people laugh and you go and talk and you and they just staring at you like you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I know. Like the foreign people when you talking to them, they don't speak good English. Right. That's how it was. I'm like okay, and I wasn't taking it serious. But another person, my my sister, my comedy sister, Arya Moody, I love her to death. She, I was getting I was getting ready to quit. Like I was over, and she talked me out of quitting and. Yeah, it's I've been having fun with it. And that's that's the key. I mean, once you get on stage, you have fun with it. Go from there. I love it. I love it. And your second guest. Oh, this is my main man, Prince. All come all the way from Jackson. So um, Prince is yeah. definitely special because um, I mean that's a long journey to to come and, and and be committed to doing comedy. So Prince, ask you. Yeah, Prince. Yeah, Please. how you doing? Go ahead, go ahead. Uh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> first thing I want to do is announce that at uh, twelve thirty-five we will be having family reunions for inmate four five six three, inmate six four five, <laughs> inmate seven four five. Okay. <laughs> if you're wondering how your uncles are doing, your brothers are doing, they all right. My people taking care of them down here in Jackson, Michigan. You understand me. Uh, Prison city, what they used to call it. You understand me, but uh, we got them. We taking care of. Them. We didn't put them there, but we taking care and good care of them. You understand me? Oh, that's uh, good. We got some sisters in the child hall. You understand me? Oh Get knee deep, serving up some good child. That's cool. <laughs> All right. <laughs> okay. Now they might not come home mentally right, but they're gonna be fed. Oh my okay. God. Okay. All right. So when did comedy start for you? Um. It's like um, you understand me. It's um, it's always been there. Mm -hmm. It's 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 in the blood. It's just a natural thing because um, you got to get through the hard times. In the hard times, um, as a kid, I had to learn how to laugh through it mm -hmm. because crying through it ain't gonna get you nowhere. Mm -hmm. Okay, you can you can take a time out, but you better be moving while you're taking that time out because time don't stop for you. You keep on moving. So, um, with a lot of some other personal things, um, where I, uh, what up, you know, I was on the right side of the track, went to the wrong side of the track, you understand me, slung some of them things around, you understand me, dig me, and, um, just to making up it, I personally had to do in my community, um, so that I could walk around as a man and not an animal no more. You real Billy. Economy <clears throat> has helped me, uh, Men build, fix, help assemble bridges, um, and let me see and other people see the real human that I am and that I want to see out of them. And through comedy, um, with the relationships that I've made and the lessons that God give all along the way daily, um, the good and the bad. You know, for everybody that's helped me, and there's, there's there's countless people because of the examples they've set, because of the lessons they gave me, because of the, <clears throat> and you hate us. <laughs> um, you know, I appreciate them, you know, because they helped me to, to, to find me, to be able to see a lot of people say, how can you go up on the stage, Angie? How can you sit up on that mic? And they forget about school. They forget about being forced at church to go do them plays. Mm -hmm. So we've done it. But when you forget who you is and where you come from and get into a new algorithm of somebody else, then it's, I wish I could do what you do. I wish I could. No, you ain't got to wish. You already done, done it. God equipped us with everything we need. You understand me? For every and all situations. So if you don't go for it, you know, like they say, you ain't got nobody to blame but yourself. If you don't want to achieve. I had a young man that was running up this hill for track and you know how that cramps get to you, you know, and, and, and you hit that wall. 
And he looked at me, he said, man, I don't want to be great. That kills us. See, this is what you happens. You can never when you... allow anyone to say it or to accept it around you. That when it gets tough, driving down to Jackson, Tony encouraged me. Yeah, this is what happens when you um, grew up in the system. You know what I'm saying? You have to, um, you have to, you need comedy. And so, so Prince facilitates that. You know, he grew up in the system and then now he's doing comedy. He's a brand new person. Can't you tell? Yeah. He's a, he's, he's so articulate now. Before I met him, before he started doing comedy, he was like a deaf mute. Look at him. He's talking and, and everything. He's so, you should see him on stage. This weekend, this weekend, Prince Askewer is going to be shutting it down with Durante. We got um, the, all the crack jokers going to be there. There's about 10 crack jokers going to be there that's going to shut it down. So Tell them where and all that. Every Friday and Saturday. That's, every Friday and Saturday that started on Plymouth. Um, check us out. Um, listen, a lot of people don't know this, but Fridays, what what you call it, Durante? Um Okay. It, it's um it's date night and Saturdays is Tony Roney night. That means you got to get dressed up. Okay. Yeah. So right. everybody b- dress their best on Saturdays, and you can kind of you know um, do your thing on Friday. And where they going? We're going to Starters on Plymouth. That's every Friday and Saturdays. Starters start laughing at Starters on Plymouth. Are you still giving away the try? Yes, absolutely. If you go to my website and buy the tickets on my website, Tony Roney's Comic dot com, you get you a tray. All right, and now uh, you get out the door. Go yeah. ahead, Go ahead. Uh, uh, now, um, uh, let's understand something about Saturday. <laughs> that because that's the day I like. Um, that don't mean getting those tennis shoes with no bleach on them. And come, no, uh, 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 uh. that dress shoes. You understand me? <laughs> now, no, Prince, no, Prince no, no shop open every toe, Friday. No, no open toe, always. no males with no open toe sandals. Okay? Please, right? So put suited and booted, baby. You yeah. understand me? Every Friday and uh, actually yeah. every Friday and Saturday, but especially Saturday. Especially, yeah. Especially. If they're not saying where you going, you're not dressed. Right. Mm-mm, don't come up in there playing with pimp and them. You understand me? You know overalls. Mm-mm. Craig Joker starters Friday, Saturday. They want details again. Tell them how to get them. Tell me. Oh man, go to our website, Tony Roney's Comic Vibe. Um, or you can go to our YouTube channel, Tony Roney's Comic Vibe, and check us out. Oh, let oh, let me give you my number. 313-523-0946 if you want to get in touch and get some tickets. Say that number again. 313 313-523-0946. Give us a call. Yeah. She was playing a song. Oh, I thought you said, I'm not forward at that.